Hi, welcome back. This is Young Ferrer. This is part 4 of our tutorial videos. Today, we'll talk about the edit page, the chroma key, or what we call green screen in DaVinci Resolve. But first, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so we can make videos for you. We appreciate your support. At the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to make a video like this. As a Thanksgiving gift, we are giving away one 15-inch ASUS laptop this December in preparation for our anniversary next year. Our clients and you, our viewers, can join the raffle absolutely free. It is important that you please check out the link on the screen or the description box below for the complete terms and conditions of this raffle draw. Let's review what we learned so far. Cut page. J. K L I O D A. Let's go to the edit page. First of all, what is an edit page? The edit page is Resolve's version of Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere, Vegas, and the like. This is where we do our offline and online editing, putting together all the video clips and creating sequences to make a complete story. Now let's take a look at the interface. On the left side, you can see the media pool. This is where you can see all your clips for your project. To import, just click and open your clip. If you click any of the thumbnails, you can preview them on the preview viewer and you can play or scrub through it and make an in and out point to your desired video clip. Then you can drag your video to the timeline. Then drag your videos one by one to the timeline in the sequence you want. If you want the clip to be shortened, just go to the end of the clip and the cursor will turn into a bracket and do the trim. Now let's look at the icon in the toolbar. First is the arrow, then the trim edit mode, then the dynamic trim mode, slip or slide, then the blade or cut. The normal way to edit is placing your A-roll on the first layer. Add the B-roll or inserts in layer 2. Remember, layer 1 will always be the bottom layer. When you place anything in layer 2, it will cover layer 1. Anything placed on layer 3 will cover layer 1 and 2, so forth and so on. Since our clip is shot in our green screen, here are the steps to change the green background. Go to the color page. Right click on the node section and choose add alpha output. Then connect the nodes. Press the qualifier icon. Adjust hue, saturation, and luminance. Press invert. Fine tune, matte finesse. Then press the window icon and select Linear. Make adjustments on the bounded area. Go back to the edit page. Click the inspector. Adjust the size and the position. Now 
Now, let's make a 30 second video commercial. Let's drag our clips to the timeline. Let's stream our video clips. Let's drag our green screen video clip to layer 2. Let's stream our video clips. Go to the color page. Right click on the node section and choose add alpha output. Then connect the nodes. Press the qualifier icon. Adjust hue, saturation, and luminance. Press invert. Fine tune matte finesse. Then press the window icon and select linear. Make adjustments on the bounded area. Go back to the edit page. Click the inspector. Adjust the size and the position. Let's add this all. Let's add the B-roll to layer 3. Now we will be doing builder animation. Let's do a simple text animation. Layer 3 graphics, everybody. Layer 4 graphics, Ken. Layer 5 graphics, join. Layer 6 graphics, the. Layer 7 graphics, raffle. Change the color to yellow. Click the inspector. Adjust the size and the position. Let's do a text animation from layer 3 to layer 7. Now we have to adjust the endpoints of graphics layers 3 to 7 to have a simple animation effect. Then we add the graphics free. Add the video transition to graphics layers 4 to 7. Drag a B-roll to layer 3. Go to Inspector, Resize, and Reposition. Add the lower thirds graphics to layers 4 and 5. Go to the Inspector, Resize, and Reposition. Change color to yellow. Now, let's add a lower third graphics to layer 4. Now, we add the name of the host to layer 4. Go to Inspector, Resize, Reposition. Change to Yellow. Resize. Reposition. Add a video transition in the in and out points of the clip. Then we preview the whole project.
Let's go to the start of the video and press I for in. Let's go to the end of the video and press O for out. Now we are ready to render our final project. Go to the delivery page, create your desired file name. And check the video format and render. We are giving away one 15-inch ASUS laptop this December in preparation for our anniversary next year. Our clients and you, our viewers, can join the raffle absolutely free. It is important that you please check out the link on the screen or the description box below for the complete terms and conditions of this raffle draw. Then that's it! Next tutorial, we'll integrate the cut page and the edit page also, more on how to animate our text. Thank you and see you again soon!